welcome Fan and families to our 2020-2021 school year. This is our virtual parent meeting for the upcoming school year. And I'd like to start by just telling you how excited we are to have our students back around us, either virtually or face-to-face. -face. My name is Dallas Horn. I am your principal here at Fannin Elementary. And I'd like to start by introducing some important people that you might need to be aware of. First off is our um, assistant principal, Ms. Gina Geeslin. We have Vanessa Williams, who is our counselor. Robin Smithart, who is our PM secretary. Our front office staff, is Ms. Karen Hall and Veronica Bernal, and we have our behavior specialist, Ms. Sherry Case. Some of our special staff are electives uh, for this year. We have Cindy McCary, which who does music and art. Trina Wiley does our tech apps. Stephen Perkins does PE for our campus, and then we have Ms. Carmen Betts, who is our librarian. Some of our instructional support staff that you need to be aware of, Ms. Anel Richardson and Ms. Risa Marks are interventionists, and Phyllis Reagan is our dyslexia therapist. So new for this year, which is very important, is that every student gets a free breakfast each morning and a free lunch during lunchtime. And again, students can still bring a uh, lunch with them if, they, if you prefer that, parents. Um, but just wanted to let you know that this is an option if you opt in to do that, which is uh, really a fantastic thing provided by our Board of Trustees and Dr. Frost. Uh, virtual students can opt to receive a free SAC lunch as well. More information will be coming on the distribution of those soon. Just to give you a heads up on the parent pickup and drop off for car riders, um, parents and guardians, you can drop off and pick up uh, in the front of Fannin. Uh, in our car drive area. Um, we'll have cones out there and people to help your students get uh, out or into the cars depending on arrival and dismissal. Uh, parents, please note that uh, arrival uh, drop-off is anywhere from 7 a.m. to 7.40 and school starts at 7.45. That's when the tardy bell rings. Um, for dismissal, our staff will have students out prior to uh, uh, 315 on the first week of school, but typical days, the bell rings at 315 and we are out there from 315 to about 340 um, ready for you to, to pick up your kids. So the car line will start and we will uh, get the students in as quickly as we can and get you get you on your way. So again, with, with all that has been going on um, from March until now, We've had a lot of time to plan. I just want to let you know, parents and, and guardians, that uh, our safety, um, the safety of your students, the safety of staff uh, is, is priority number one. Um, Fannin has some safety protocols that I wanted to make you aware of. That uh, one thing is students and staff must wear a face covering when entering the building. Um, again, no visitors will be allowed in the building without an appointment, and uh, those appointments can be made at the front office area. Um, if a, a visitor does come onto the campus though, a face covering is required. Uh, at this time, no visitors are gonna be allowed during lunch until further notice. Uh, that's just a uh, recommendation and a guideline from the district. And so we'll follow that there here at Fannin. Uh, students and staff, you'll be required to wear face coverings when transitioning around the building. So if a student goes to the restroom or a student is uh, going from classroom to uh, another classroom in the building or to lunchroom, uh, they will be required to wear a face covering when transitioning. So as far as our classrooms are concerned, kindergarten through second grade students will not be required to wear face coverings in the classroom, but it is encouraged. Parents, if you'd like to encourage your kids to wear their face masks as much as possible, it is gonna create a safe environment or a safer environment for our students. Third and fourth grade students will need to wear their face coverings in the classroom uh, as well. Also, frequent hand washing will occur at regular intervals throughout the day in each classroom. I've advised teachers to uh, stop typically between uh, natural breaks in the day during, you know, maybe a switch from math to English language arts, um, where they would stop and have kids have students wash their hands at regular intervals. There will be additional hand washing stations around the campus provided by the district, 
Uh, so we will have access to those and students will be able to wash their hands frequently throughout the day. Also, hand sanitizer will be provided throughout the school and in classrooms. Students and staff will use sanitizer frequently when necessary, uh, especially after um, you know, picking up items or touching uh, common commonly touched uh, locations throughout the building. Lunch. For this year, students will still eat in the lunchroom with their grade levels, um, but what we're asking is that students will wash their hands and sanitize before entering the lunchroom. Uh, also, they will follow appropriate social distancing in the lunchroom where our cafeteria tables will, will uh, have markings where the students will be able to sit. Um, and that's again, just to keep your students as safe as possible. Recess. Now, as much as possible, you know, we will allow recess. I think recess is necessary for students. It's necessary for kids to just get some free time to play and uh, kind of burn some energy and, and, and socialize as much as possible. But we're asking them, you know, to the best of their ability and as best of my staff's ability to maintain it, uh, we're asking that students try to, to still refrain from grouping up and touching uh, you know, maybe play, not playing tag or things like that, but, you know, just to get some opportunity to get outside and have a good time uh, during recess. Masks won't, won't be required outside during recess. Uh, the outside air uh, is a good buffer between um, uh, for the virus and that kind of stuff. Hand washing and sanitizing will be required after returning from recess each time they come back in the building. And so students I just want to tell you just a phrase that keeps coming up to me uh, is that the best is yet to come. You may have seen it on our, uh, on our sign out front of the building for a while, but no matter what, whether you're virtual or face-to-face, -face, I want to let you know the best is yet to come. It may be starting off different this year and it may be different having to wear masks, but we cannot be more excited to have you in the building. We cannot wait for you to be here uh, either virtually or face-to-face. Um, but we cannot wait to see you on our campus virtually, and that's going to be September the 8th, next Tuesday, September the 8th. If you have any questions, please call us at the office. The number is right here on the screen, um, and also uh, it is the number is 903-602-8540. And again, cannot wait. This is going to be a great year. We are all in at Fannin. Have a great day.